took me to an orchid show. I didn't plan on getting anything, but I ended up getting that one, this one, and this. A little one that is supposed to have fragrance when it blooms. There are the flowers, and there are the leaves, and whatever these things are. I don't think they're quite roots. So this one is that. This one. That. And the third one I don't know the name of. I thought it was interesting that they used basically hair clips to hold the stem to the support. I gotta go put this someplace where it won't fall down. Give me a sec. So on that big one, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of making, taking some existing uh, container that has some weight and covering it with polymer clay and also on the bottom building some sort of a, a, a shelf that will both keep this out of water and will also hold it at a slight angle so that it doesn't tend to tip over. Or maybe I'll do something to hang it, I don't know, but in any case, I want these straight. They tend to it tends to fall over when I try to stand it up. And I also want a cover. I want something that will catch the water uh, when I water it, because you want the water to drain all the way through. On this one, this is kind of already breaking, uh, uh, this hangs, so I'm thinking of using some jewelry bits and pieces to make a new hanger and maybe covering up here, maybe cutting it down, covering this with polymer clay. Down here, making some sort of a cup to hold the water when it drains. Um, now that I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking maybe it either needs to be removable or have a sponge or something inside. And just making this background look pretty. The other option is uh, my brother has a lot of wood uh, especially stuff with bark, so maybe I can find something and just remount this very gently because these these things seem to be clinging to the wood already. Uh, maybe there are little tiny tendrils or something. I thought this was so cool. I thought these looked kind of like bugs and that amused me. And then this one on this particular plant, this one looks like it's releasing new leaves or something, so I can't wait to find out what these things contain, and that one looks ready to go. So, uh, my friend also gave me some food for these, and you're supposed to feed them only when they're growing. I, ha I don't know much about orchids. I'm, I'm just starting to learn. I've got a lot of research to do. I gave away all my plants about a year ago when I was going on a big trip, and I'm about to go on another big trip as I'm recording this. And I wouldn't have bought anything. I didn't plan to buy anything. Uh, yeah, I guess you know how that happens. Uh, but my friend said she'll do plant sitting, so I'll take these to her when, when it's time for me to travel. Then this one, I'm going to kind of hold it in its container because it already fell out once and I'm hoping the, the root thingies or clingy thingies, these things, aren't damaged. And now that I've got the close-up, I should show this again. These were, because they were at an orchid show, they weren't very expensive. Oh, there we go. I hope it's okay to expose those. These actually look a little bit too moist. I'm a little worried. I'll have to look that up. I don't, I don't know if this is supposed to be kept moist or whether it needs to dry out between waterings. Different ones had different, different instructions. So this is the one from the third one. There's some close-ups, if I can very gently and roots, or whatever they're called. There's some moss in here, so I was also thinking maybe on the wooden one I'd, I'd put some little clingy things so I could get some moss in there. I just thought these were all very pretty. With this one, I'll have to make some sort of a container. Uh, maybe I'll find a container and then put polymer around it, or maybe I'll just make it out of polymer, I don't know. Uh, if I do, I'll make sure I bake it really well so that all the plasticizer is gone. I don't want this thing poisoned with polymer, but this also may end up with, uh, with some moss around the bottom, depending on what sort of things it likes, and um, when I do the research. 
find out. I also got some information. I took some pictures of the little signs. I learned that when I was going to a farmer's market that I would take pictures of the labels because they didn't put the information online. So the place that sold this, um, I have some information from them and they, they have a very nice care sheet. I'm looking forward to reading that. Now I have three of these and my plan is that if they all survive until the big trip, then one of them will go on the trip with me and, and end up with a relative. I just found this 